today i've got eight free design resources that i think every designer should know these resources covers mockups fonts brushes colors and even paper sizes so why don't you grab a cup of coffee and let's get into the video hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing the first resource that we are going to look at is burst i believe you've come across pexels pixabay and unsplash.com best is quite similar to these websites it offers free stunning photos for your project and for commercial use now the interface of the website is very nice well designed and then it has been categorized so you can browse a high resolution photo collections so you can just browse according to the categories or the collections over here so let's try it let's say coffee over here so here are all the images that are related to coffee or that has a bit of tags and things related to coffee now one thing i've realized about this website is that it has some really great resolution look at this one over here this is not even the fully opened image this is just the preview and still you can see how great this looks from even the preview so for any one of them that you want you just have to go ahead and click on it and then it gives you a high resolution and then a low resolution but of course you always have to go for the higher resolution because you don't want to compromise your design or whatever you are doing with a, a low resolution image and that is probably why you're using stock websites like this so you don't need any account you don't need to register you don't need to give them your email all that you need to do is you find the image that you want and then you come to choose your resolution size and then you can click on the download free photo over here you can however go ahead and donate to support the creators just to boost their morale to create more or shoot more for your project next up we have ace graphics if you've been on this channel for a while you know how enthusiastic i am about mockups and how often i talk about mockups so this is one of the very websites that you can download free mockups don't let this very plain site confuse you now when you scroll here you're going to get some of the amazing mockups and it's not only for flyers it's not only for your design project you can even get the phones some of the latest phones and then some of the latest mockups when it comes to the iMacs, the Apple devices and all that. Of course, some of them are paid. So we came here for the free version. So once you land onto the website, quickly go to free mockups over here and then click on it. So you get assets for Photoshop, Sketch, XD, Figma and a whole lot of them. And the beauty is that you can use all of this for commercial and personal projects. So all of these mockups here are free. We have the single handed ones and then of course we have the category. So you can scroll through all of these ones. You can choose any one of them. And when you come to the category section over here, you can realize that we have the packs or the packages for instance. And then we have the team, we have the books and so many of them. That is so for instance if you want to download this one right over here you just need to go ahead and click on it now check the resolution here it's 6000 by 4000 which is a very great quality when you want to use it for your project when you come here for the first time you need to provide your email so that the file will be sent to your email and then you can go and download it but if you've already provided your email like i've done all that you need to do is go ahead and click on the download here so you see that i've already provided my email and then you can go ahead and submit it so you go ahead and confirm your country and then you can click on the complete checkout here and then the design will be delivered into your email so you can just go into your email click on it and then you can download it now they don't only offer free mockups they also offer illustrations branding mockups and then devices and then even ui and ux mockups so you can browse through their large sums of category and free resources and then get yourself some amazing resources for your next project moving on is papersizes.io paper sizes is one of the few questions that i often get asked innocent what paper size should i use for this flyer what paper size should i use for this banner this website has got you i know for the photoshop lovers photoshop provides you with some basic paper sizes but over here you have a lot of them 
for instance in the default photoshop you get up to about a5 or so but here it extends to the likes of a0 a9 a10 and until i discovered this website i didn't even know that we have something like a0 plus so over here you are able to if you want to work on books newspapers and photography you can select any of the categories and then it is going to provide you with the paper sizes that you can use and this site uses the standard paper sizes so for instance the standard paper size for passports should be 3.5 by 4.5 centimeters and then you don't only have to work in centimeters you can go right over here and change the measuring scale that you want to use for instance i really love using inches so i can choose inches here and then it is going to convert or give you the approximate size in inches so you can also select something like millimeters that is the standard size that photoshop uses and then it can provide it for you here so you can select books as well and then it is going to give you the different types of books that you want to create as well as you can click on the more here and then you have access to the business card expect so once i select inches here i know that the standard size for business card should be 3.5 by 2 this is one that i use in most cases but depending on your location for instance if you are in europe or japan china you might have to probably change so you can actually learn about your paper sizes from this very website next on the list we have fontfabric.com i've talked about the likes of google fonts the fonts.com and font square on this channel before but font fabric over here is one great amazing site to get free font and paid font as well now the interface alone is a lot it tells a lot about this website and it's very beautiful and simply amazing other categories it has already been categorized according to the sans the serif the rust the script for you so you can browse through the amazing the numerous categories that it provides for you for instance one of the fonts that i like so much is nexa font here and then when you click on the nexa font it is going to give you the whole entire font family and look at the bolding display of the nexa font over here once you drag down you are going to be able to see the buying options and then the free or if you want to download it for free you have an option over here at a font tester you are able to see how this font actually looks like and then it gives you samples of how it looks like on just one paragraph or if you have like plenty test that you want to make how it actually looks like over here and you can also increase the size like that and you see how it looks like or you can increase the spacing and decrease it and see how it actually looks like or you can even test out the alignment and see how it actually looks like so it gives you more option to see how your font will look like before you decide to download it and the font in use here gives you an opportunity to see how it actually looks like on real-time projects and then when you scroll down here you can see some of the amazing websites that has used this font on for instance Anthony Joshua's website uses this particular font and then you can see how it actually looks like if you want to use it on fonts on flyers and so many things so to download it for free all you need to do is go here and then click on download and then you are going to provide your email address submit it and then it will be sent to your email and then you can download this font for free you can check the simple licensing for how and when to use this font for desktop for web for apps so many things but of course you can download it for free so try fontfabric.com and let me know your thoughts one of the mistakes that designers do make a lot is the number of fonts that they use on a particular project or the type of fonts that they pair with another font fontjoy.com solves this problem for you so this website generates font that looks good together for you so you can use the generate over here to quickly generate a set of fonts that looks cool together so for instance you can use this for your heading this for the subheading and then this for your paragraph now one thing i recommend you do over here when you come here is go and read how it works it talks a lot about how the fonts that you pair together can communicate your ideas to the end user one thing that i read here that was funny is what exactly is a good font pairing this is difficult question to answer but we can start with an easier question what are bad font pairing so of course it means that we have fonts that if you pair them together they really look bad so that is why you have to 
rely on fontjoy.com to provide you with some of the fonts that you can pair them together but to be on the safer side i would personally recommend that you use just a font and then its family so on this website it also advises you that you actually use a similar font or unrelated font or same family so you can use just one font from the Helvetica family and then you can use the bold the medium and the semi bold as and when the need arises but then if you are so confused on what to use you can simply come to fontjoy.com and then they are going to suggest the fonts that you can actually use and make your design great now let's talk about color undoubtedly color is one of the things that most designers have problem with now my color.space has got you this website actually generates palettes of colors for you that you can use for your project so if you have your next project and then you don't know the exact colors to use this website will help you out this is how it works you just have to go and select any color let's say this particular color over here or if you have a general color that you want to use for your project you only need to come here and then select that color and then you are going to click on generate and then it is going to generate a gradient a generic gradient for you that you can use so these are all the colors that if you use them together it is actually going to look better so you don't actually have to be thinking about which colors do i have to blend together to make my work better additionally it also gives you gradient so if you click on the gradient over here you are just going to enter two colors so this color and that and then you click on generate and then it is going to generate a palette of color for you so you can see the background right over here how great it looks so let's try with a different color like this and let's generate the gradient so you see how seamless this one looks over here and it even goes more with a three color gradient over here that you can choose three colors and then it is going to generate some amazing colors for you so this website is basically about colors if you are confused about the color that you want to use my color out space and then it is going to help you out if you are in need of icons shapes and illustration for your project then shapes.so has your back with over 36,000 icons and illustration that you can fully customize so you have icons you have animated icons you have illustrations and then animated illustrations so you can browse through the category of the numerous icons that you have and then you can select any one of them additionally you can also search for the type of icon that you want and then you can make use of them let's just say you you've gotten the one that you want all that you need to do is you're going to click on it like this and then you have an option to make or customize it to your own liking so you can increase the size in the first place and this is one thing that i recommend that you do that as much as possible try to download it in the highest size because sometimes when you download it like a small size it comes in png of course but it comes in a very small size so you download it in the larger size and if the need be that you reduce the size you don't lose anything okay so you can also work with a stroke over here work with the colors so any color that you want you can just work it around here and then you can export it in png svg and then pdf so we can export let's say in png over here you have a set of variations over here as well so you can have the single the color the offset and then the blend anyhow you want it let's go with the outline so that we can manipulate it further even in our editor so once you have everything set that you want you can then go ahead and click on the download over here and then it is going to download within a few seconds for you last on the list for today's video is the old but gold brush breezy.com i personally have been using this website for about five years now and i think it has really really helped me as a designer over here you get so many things especially brushes so if you want photoshop brushes if you want brushes for your project works this is the website to come it's not even brushes alone they provide you with metallic textures gradients test effects and some of them however comes in premium but even with a free version you are able to get a lot of things and then over here you have over 400 photoshop style pack they have patterns they have shapes 
so many things that you can download for free from brushbeauty.com. I think it's one of the website that has the all-in-one type of feel. You have brushes, you have gradients, you have patterns, icons, and so many of them. You can use the search button over here to narrow your search for you. For instance, once I type in gradients over here, look at the number of gradients that has been provided for me. And they even give additional recommendations over here. So gradients, flat, gold gradients. Let's go for gold gradients. So once you figure out the gradients or the type of gradient that you want to download, you can easily go ahead and click on it and then go ahead and download it and use it for your project. Now this is a 25 set gradient. So once you download this gradient and then you install it into your Photoshop, you're going to have this 25 set of gradients with so many different shades all installed in your Photoshop for free. And that said, those are some amazing eight free resources that I thought you should know about. Let me know in the comment section if you knew of any of these resources before, or if you have any resources that you'd want to share with other fellow designers in the comment section, or you'd want me to cover in the next episode of the free resources. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated. Thank you very much for sticking around to watch this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Innocent here and bye!